Today, I want to talk a little bit about suede upkeep and cleaning suede. I've had these Mirman dark brown suede loafers now for maybe about two years, year and a half. And I have a pretty minimal upkeep regimen. The main tool in my arsenal is this horse hair brush that I had that I use to upkeep, clean, and maintain a lot of my shoes, whether it be black leather or brown suede, brown leather. You see here, I'm just essentially brushing out the suede because essentially suede is just fur on leather. You wanna keep the texture of the suede. And the main way that I do that is by essentially every time I wear them, I brush them out with this horsehair brush pretty much all over the shoe. As long as you continuously brush them out with this horsehair brush, you should be in pretty good shape. Throughout the shoe, it's maintained very well. There's not a lot of places of abrasion or anything like that or even any scuffs or marks except on the toe box of one of them. But that's life. That's the life of a shoe that's used and loved in some sense. You're going to have wear, you're going to have tear. And I fully intend to use my shoes quite a bit. For tougher areas, you can use a tougher brush. A horsehair brush is not as coarse as this plastic bristled brush here that I have. And if need be, I'll use this to rub out any grime that's really deep into the suede. Or for the most part, I use it to just get in between the upper and the sole of the shoe. I try not to use this on the suede directly because a lot of times it can mess up the suede. The horsehair brush is a little bit finer so it doesn't have that same effect on the suede. You can also use a, I don't know what you would call it, a mark eraser to buff out any stains or anything that get into the suede. It does a really good job of buffing them out. I attempt to use that on the toe box. I don't really have any marks on them at this time because I try to be pretty careful with them, as careful as I can be without, you know, covering them in plastic and not actually getting life out of them. Another tool in the arsenal is actually some water repellent. Suede and water don't mix well. The suede can get waterlogged and lose its texture, lose its vibrancy. So I try to make sure mostly that I'm not wearing these on rainy days, but sometimes you get caught in the rain with them. I have a couple times. And thankfully, I've had them coated with this water repellent, which I believe is from the Rantotes. basically douse the whole shoe down in this water repellent and a can of this can last you for quite a long time
but ultimately suede is a pretty easy material to upkeep and to maintain as long as if you do run into an issue you don't wait too long to fix that issue to solve to it by brushing it out by using your suede eraser or, or something along those lines After I dust them down and give them a little bit to dry, essentially I just brush them back out with the horsehair brush. Again, this is my main tool in the arsenal, and so if there's one tool that you're gonna buy for suede upkeep, I would suggest it be a horsehair brush. But ultimately, once they're brushed out, any marks are removed. Look, the water repellent is applied and they're brushed out again. The only other thing to do is to wear them and to ensure that after you wear them, you know, every after every one or two wears, you just brush them out again with the horsehair brush to keep that texture. Another great tool for really any type of nice pair of shoes like this is shoe trees. I have a pair here, a birch pair from Earl Natural. You can get these for decent price on Etsy, Depop. I believe that's where I got these. And you just insert these in the shoe and it'll keep the shape very well. And this will correlate with the shoe size. So that's pretty much that. Again, very minimal way of upkeeping suede. I'm sure you can find a more in-depth video if you would like or if you need. Thanks for watching.